infertility is, um, it's very lonely, it's very hard. Everything you try is a failure and um, it's hard, <laughs> yeah. I had second degree burns on my face, uh, neck, and then they said a little bit worse on your hands. I think they were trying to be polite. They said you may never be able to be back to 100%. As women, we never imagine this is going to be our life story, you know? You just think, like, when the time comes and I'm ready to get pregnant, I'm going to get pregnant. Every day we hear something is impossible. There was definitely uh, more extensive burns on my hands. I had lost a lot of muscle tissue, so, like, I could see, like, the bones in some part. There is a possibility that even if maybe they could cosmetically look better, I would not have functionality or a normal life. When scientists hear impossible, they ask, what if? So they said there was a third treatment option, and he was very honest. He said it was new to him, and he didn't know very much about it. What if the impossible was possible? This is why it's going to work the next time, and I believe it, and it's going to be great, and it's going to work, and then it doesn't work. And then it starts becoming a game of how do I retell my story? to make sense of it not working. Together, we have the courage to turn ideas into possibilities. You know, my friends ask me, say, hey, you wanna go just hang out, even go to a restaurant, have dinner. Hey, well, is someone gonna feed me if I go? You know, am I just gonna have to sit and watch? At Thermo Fisher Scientific, we stay one step ahead so you can step beyond to solve impossible. Having a baby was really the next piece for me and we had to just figure out a way.